What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and today I'm bringing to you my August 2021 Scentsy Empties. So we're gonna jump in first with non-wax empties and then with wax empties. This may be a long video. If you want, pause and get a snack. So laundry, I finished up the four dryer discs and Palm Beach Breeze that I had going before, and I have four new ones. I've been using these with the Fiji Flower Laundry Liquid and the Whiffs. So speaking of Fiji Flower Whiffs, I have two finished. Uh, the laundry liquid, I still have a little bit left. That's the problem when you get some of these smaller ones. They don't all run out at the same time. The Fiji flower, I absolutely love in the laundry. I love it in the laundry. Like, I really hope this, it's probably my favorite laundry scent. No joke. Maybe very close to sea salt and avocado, but I really like Fiji flower. So I used up those. Obviously, the laundry liquid will show up probably next month. For, for pods, I finished up Pina Colada Cha Cha. This is a really nice, authentic Pina Colada without the rum. I don't really get the rum. So it's basically got pineapple, coconut, vanilla bean, and rum. I don't really get rum. These are nice. And I've been trying to go through my pods. Some of the older pods had really weak packaging. I feel like it has improved over time, but I'm trying to use up some of the older ones. So speaking of, this one is quite a bit it feels just a little bit more brittle. So this is Honeymoon Hideaway. And this is a scent that I struggled to smell in wax, but it's really, really nice. I just wish I could smell it better. It was light in the pods as well, unfortunately. I had this going in Ryan's room. He just has been killing the scents he goes. So sometimes we put it on at night and we just plug it in rather than use the charge. Because if you plug it in and press on, it just uses the power and it constantly goes. So this one basically smells like a nice tropical resort. A little bit of lush greens, a little bit of floral, a little bit of sweet fruits, all mixed together in a beautiful, hard to describe fragrance. That's hard to smell. <laughs> all right, for car stuff, my husband gave me this. He said, I can't smell this anymore. And it's strawberry and rock melon. I said, but I didn't put that in that long ago. He goes, well, I can't smell it. <laughs> and I can't really smell it here either. So it's funny, he took out Blue Grotto and put it in his truck. So he smelled Blue Grotto and he says it smells good enough to eat. So that will be coming up probably in a month for him. I had going in my car, I had a Blue Agave and Melon Pods and I actually have them at work. But just the other day I put in, I think it was about 10 days ago, I put in Vanilla Mint. This was really strong for about the first like maybe four or five days and then it kind of tapered off quite a bit. It's a beautiful scent. It's a hard to describe mint. It's almost like a bright, fresh mint with a little bit of citrus. I think it's frozen citrus. Really nice. I would pick it up again, but knowing it's probably only going to last like a week or so, I'm okay with that. Sometimes it's nice for the scent circles. If you're someone that likes frequent change, they're nice. <laughs> I have this scent pack going in my pantry. It's Camo Camo. I actually forgot it was in there, so obviously it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't memorable. Why did I have this in there? Oh, I think we had a potato that went bad. <laughs> And my family's like, we need something smelling in the pantry. So I put Camu Camu probably many months ago and forgot it was hanging up on a hook. All right, it's not uh, non-wax empties without seeing a Scentsy Soak. This is my husband's favorite one, pineapple coconut vanilla. So I told him if you're gonna use the soaks, you can use that and then you have to use another one And because this is by far his favorite. And this one does suds up a little bit if you want one with a little bit of setting action for kids. It does obviously kind of die off as you go, but definitely there at the beginning. I finished up three oils, which I will talk about briefly in case you're not an oil person. Uh, from the summer oil set, I finished up Bikini Martini. I will put the notes below. This reminded me a lot of Pina Colada Cha Cha. So I actually had this diffusing and these pods going when Ryan was sleeping. It was really, really nice. Sometimes I even had the wax going. Like, you know, usually not all three. <laughs> this is really nice. It really reminds me of like a little bit brighter version of Pina Colada Cha Cha, so not as much vanilla. I finished up from the current catalog, Rose Water Lavender. This one is not really in my wheelhouse, but it was okay. Yes, it's a powdery rose with a little bit of lavender. The lavender comes across kind of a, a little bit sweet, not too herbal, so it's not so bad, but the rose is a bit powdery, so. It says rose water, but you can definitely smell like a rose presence. And this one was really, really light and extremely thick. It is orange pineapple coconut. This is an older, oops, there I go. I've dropped something for the video. <laughs> this is 
This one is an older scent. I think I picked it up in a flash sale. One nice thing about flash sales is sometimes they will have a box of oils and it will just be an assortment, maybe 10 or 12 oils, kind of like a grab loot bag for a really cheap price. And you get a real, you get some real gems in there. So if they ever do that, I would highly suggest picking them up. So this was really nice. You know what this reminded me of? Summer Soleil. This is really nice, but it was hard to smell in the room. Like you had to add lots of drops. So, but I did like it. All right, so I'm gonna just pause the video and you will not uh, miss a beat because I'm going to get into the wax. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I just noticed my eyes all bloodshot. I don't know what happened there. I wasn't out drinking last night. All right, so the let's we're gonna break down the wax into sections. I usually talk about new items, retired items, bring back my bar. It's always good to hear about everything because you're always voting for bring back my bar. So you'll wanna be having a mental list or an actual written out list of what you wanna vote for. So I did kind of get through a lot. And just so you know, I do not start and stop all, all these in the same month. Some of them are almost empty and then they go in my empties. So the first one I finished up is in the current catalog. It's called Butter Pecan. This has been around for about a couple of years. It's candied pecan maple and butter. And it's a really strong vanilla base scent. You definitely get a butter, but it smells to me like melted butter. It's really, really nice. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a maple walnut ice cream or butter pecan ice cream, that kind of thing. It's really, really strong and then it does dissipate, but it's a repurchase for me and I usually don't even like maple scents, but this one I like, butter pecan. Oh, this one's a really good one, Bright Cider Life. This is notes of spiced harvest cider, pumpkin and red apple, but there is a little bit of a tone in it, a special tone in the middle. It feels like a marshmallowy toastiness or a creaminess of some sort that creeps in, it's really nice. If you're looking for one that you've never tried before and you want an overall beautiful fall scent, definitely put Bright Cider Light on your list because it's a good performer. Scent appeal is great. Most people I've talked to have loved this one. Really good. All right, this one is a new release. It's Harvest Blessings. This one has notes of apple, spiced pumpkin, and oak. I found this a little spicy for my taste. And it's funny, I usually love spice, but this one is a, like a red, to me it's like a red hot spice a little bit. I don't know what it is. You do get a little bit of oak, you get a little bit of apple pumpkin. This is a very much a traditional fall winter scent to me. And someone pointed it out, they said it reminds them of old school Yankee and I would tend to agree. So that is Harvest Blessings. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Harvest from Yankee. So that is that. I have from the Disney Princess Collection, True Love Awaits. This has made its way into the catalog. This has notes of raspberry, sparkling mandarin, and sweet vanilla. My family is making noise in the kitchen. It's very echoey, I apologize. This is nice. It's, it's a girly scent. It's fruity. There's a little bit of floral in it. If you like Cloudberry Dreams, but you want a tamed down version, this is kind of what this reminds me of. Less floral in this, more fruit. Yeah, I would repurchase this if I needed to add a Disney bar to a collection scent. And it was quite long lasting, so that was nice. And it was about a medium in strength and throw. So from the Moment by Moment collection, I have a clamshell of birthday wishes. This is a pink wax, and it's reminiscent of happy birthday, but it more vanilla version. So not quite as strong, not quite as rich, but nice in its own way. If you really like vanilla based scents, you're gonna love birthday wishes. Definitely give it a try if you haven't already. The notes are rainbow sugar sprinkles, cake batter, and whipped vanilla. So I put this in my club and I actually removed happy birthday thinking it was going to come back and it, it is not coming back. So this will have to do for now, but I actually have some happy birthday in my stash. So I'm okay with that. This one is a favorite of mine. This one is a new release, cashmere and corduroy. This is really nice. If you're looking for a scent to take a chance on, this is the one you want to do it with. So let me read you the notes. It's creamy vanilla, yes. Sicilian bergamot, that's the part that I'm not sure about, but if it's in here, I will trust that it's in here. And cashmere sandalwood. This is cozy and dreamy, a little bit perfumey, but in the best possible way. This is what, if you smell this, you just feel more relaxed. Mm, I love it, love it. Definitely, definitely, probably my favorite new release. A favorite, in a favorite scent that I've had in quite a while. Like I haven't come across a scent like that in a while. So Scarlet Sunflower. This is a new release. 
This has notes of juicy apple, red cranberry, red cranberry and scarlet sunflower. Now, this is not really one that I really like very much. It's okay. I don't dislike it, but I don't say to myself, oh, I can't wait to warm scarlet sunflower. It's a little bit too juicy, apple juicy to me. I don't mind the floral part and I don't get a lot of red cranberry. But let me tell you, this one is getting rave reviews. People are loving it. People that don't like florals are loving it. I am okay with the floral part. I just don't really like the juicy apple part and I love apple. I just think it's too apple juicy. <laughs> like, you know, apple juice. Almost like concentrate or very, almost like pure apple juice. One that you wouldn't get at a store. One you'd get like from like a juice stand or someone pressed the apple juice. I don't know. It's just a little bit too much for me. But it was about a medium, like I would say a bedroom scent, not really probably open concept worthy. So if, if you pick that up, fiddle around with it. Don't put it in your big area to start out because you might waste your wax. Scent of the month, vanilla blackberry. This is scent of the month for, is it this month? <laughs> I think it's this month. They all blend together after a while. The notes on this, I don't have them written down, but I think it's like blackberry, vanilla, and there's some amber, there's some cedar. This is a strong performer in the sense that it lasts a long time, about a medium intensity. Yeah, I don't mind this, it's okay. Uh, again, some people are absolutely loving this and some people are not loving it. So, you know, I think for most part, I would say most people per are okay with this one. So that is vanilla blackberry. Actually, before we move on to the big ones, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you, I finished up a few testers in Autumn Sunset. What I went, I've been going through um, and picking out some of these older style and warming them. And this is like a top 10 fragrance from the past, I believe. It's got like apples and pumpkins and cinnamon. It's very much a fall potpourri. It's got a little bit of sweetness. Uh, it's a little bit spicier and more fruity than Welcome Home. So that is that. And I actually warmed some weathered leather, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't talk about this a lot, but I don't like weathered leather at all. I love sheer leather. I love vanilla oud, which has some leather in it. But this one, not so much. But you'll see right here, I mixed it with some Saddle Up which also is a leather scent. It's a little bit of a musky leather. So I mixed these two together so I could tolerate and use up some of these old weathered leather. And that's why in Tester Tuesday, when weathered leather comes up, I always laugh because I'm secretly hoping it'll never get voted for. <laughs> all right, I finished, not, not went through these all together, but I finished four bricks this month, four. <laughs> And somebody else finished four bricks and they were very proud of themselves. And I was cheering them on because I was right there with you. All right, the first one is Arctic Kiss. This is a phenomenal scent. It's made its way into the catalog. It is available now. The notes on this one, I have written down cool Arctic mint, which it doesn't really, it just smells like a freshness. Uh, fresh air, <laughs> there you go. And fluffy vanilla clouds. This kind of reminds me of a clean laundry winter scent but also a fresh scent at the same time. But I, I think of this as a clean type scent. This is a very long lasting performing scent. It's strong and it's long lasting. So that is Arctic Kiss. I do have some bars of that. All right, here's another one. And these are like 5.75 almost equivalent bars of wax. I've had this one for almost two years now, I believe. It is a beat up vanilla bean buttercream brick. This came out in the, what are we going into 20? So this would be a 2019 brick, I believe, from the holiday collection. And some people were kind of perturbed that they would bring out something like this. I think it's fine, because I use these as a mixer and sometimes I like it on its own. And this has obviously vanilla, it's got the richness of the buttercream, it's got like a cane sugar, which I think is really nice. Sometimes there's some pop or soda, depending where you live, that is made with cane sugar versus uh, what's the other stuff? Corn syrup? And you can kind of taste the difference. So <laughs> not that you're going to eat this, but it, it has a nice smell. I think you can still get this scent in bar form on the website, depending on what country you live in, but it may have sold out. I'm not sure. Red pear and pomegranate. So this one was a little bit juicy. I got this from my star director and hers was juicy. I have another one that's perfect. So I, I'm not really sure why that is. 
This is pomegranate, rhubarb, and red pear. And this one is a very long lasting scent. So if you're looking for a strong, long lasting fruity scent, then this is a good choice. It's a little bit tart, a little bit tangy from the rhubarb. And then you get the sweetness from the pear. Yes. Yes. This is one that when I put it in, I, I think it's never gonna die. <laughs> so it's very long lasting. So that is red pear and pomegranate. And last but not least, I have another red brick. This is one that's no longer available for sure. So we're kind of transitioning into that. This is Strawberry Daiquiri Disco. So this one was a spring brick from, I believe 2018 in the Let's Dance collection, I think they called that. This one has notes of strawberry puree, white raspberry, Caribbean rum, and they said, turn the beat around. Just like the song. Now I don't typically gravitate or like well, I, I kind of like them, I guess, but I don't want a warm strawberry scent in my home for some reason. I don't know. I've, I've come to realize I don't really like berry scents. I don't really tend to warm blackberry, blueberry, you know, berry, wild berry, anything like that. But some other fruity scents I tend to like. So I don't know. I don't know why that is. <laughs> and it's funny when you first start on in your wax journey, you listen to people and you think you're going to like what they like. I thought I was going to like blackberry. It's okay. I thought I was going to love strawberry. It's just okay. I thought I was going to love fizzy. No, I don't really. So it's not that I dislike any of them. It's just not ones that I prefer. So anyway, back on track. This one was a medium to light and it doesn't last very long. So probably is why I was able to get through that one. I think I have one more break. Okay, back to bars. Actually, before we get to the bars, let's quickly go through these. Look at all this. <laughs> This is Summer Holiday. I went through all my testers of Summer Holiday. Now it's funny, I did Tester Tuesdays for a lot of these scents and then after I had done the Tester Tuesdays, sometimes we get additional testers that we have to cycle out of our collection because, you know, a new a new catalog comes in. Or my superstar director had given me three box of, boxes of testers when I was almost down to the bottom. She gave me three boxes. So that's probably why I have quite, quite a few again. But that is a very feminine, pretty, perfumey summer scent. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the Boom Boom spray, but not quite. And, and for me, it's about a light to medium. It's not very strong. I can smell it, but it doesn't blow me out. Some people say it's really strong. I definitely don't get that, uh, but it's fairly long lasting. So if you like a lighter intensity scent, definitely look into summer holiday if that one comes back. And I hope it does. A couple in here that I finished up this one is Seashore and Pacific Daydream. I think I mixed those together. I will just give you the notes. They, they, neither were standouts, but Seashore is salty grapefruit, lemon zest, pink, ginger, and vanilla. And I definitely prefer Pacific Daydream over that one. Pacific Daydream is beachy lime, pineapple, sweet candy sugar, and Hawaiian sea salt. Let me just grab one of each and smell. So Seashore, I remember, mm, this is a weird combo to my nose the scents don't meld together. Like the, the salty with the other things? No. I think it's the salty and the pink, salty uh, grapefruit and the pink ginger. I don't know about that. Pacific Daydream. Yeah, this is a little bit different, but it's more pleasing to my nose, but it's a little bit, there's an astringent note to a lot of Scentsy's aquatic scents. I can't really pinpoint what it is, but I like this one better. Anyway, those are gone. Not a repurchase if I saw them come back or I would not vote for those. Jumpin' Jelly Bean, some testers. This is a really strong scent, but it's short-lived. And it's like a, I think it's got apple and it's got lemon and it's got like a jelly bean. And for some reason I pick up like a gentle chlorinated pool smell, which I actually really like. <laughs> it sounds really bad, but yeah. This is one of my mom's favorite scents and she's in her mid seventies, so. Don't knock a kid's scent until you try it. This one is a sweaty mess called Mariposa Lily. And I'm sorry about the lighting. It is like eight o'clock in the morning. I have lots to do today. I got to get some videos out. So I got to go with the flow. So pretend it's really, I'm really well lit. <laughs> but Mariposa Lily is Mariposa Lily, sugared apple and pineapple slices. And this was hard to smell even as sweaty as it was. It didn't perform the greatest. So, but it's beautiful on cold. Oh, I love it. So I'm not sure if it was just like, look at that, that's gross. It looks like lip salt. <laughs> I, 
I'm not sure if it was just the age of these, but um, unfortunately they did not perform very well, but beautiful Sun Gone Cold. And finally, if you're following me on Instagram, um, I go I go by, <laughs> it's my name. Look me up, it's Patricia Gates, Patricia, and then G-A-E-T-Z. In Canada, we say Z. Anyway, look me there, look me up there and follow me. I often put pictures of what I'm warming. And the other day I was warming this and it's Southern Sweet Tea. I did gr grab a bar of it to show for the picture because it looks nicer. But Southern Sweet Tea is such a nice scent and it didn't make it back in the bring back my bar. It's got notes of peach. Oh, it's such a nice peach too. It's not a gross piece of peach at all. It's way different than Plumeria peach, which I find is a bit intense. This is nice and soft and gentle with that white tea. It says it's got orange juice. I'll take their word for it. Oh, so this is best in a small to medium room that's probably enclosed. This is really nice. One of my daughter's favorite scents and my mom, actually. All right, moving on to the bars. Happy New Home. This is from the Moment by Moment collection. It says Lemon Blossom, Mandarin, and Blue Sky. To me, this is like a citrus, which, which reads more orange to me, laundry scent. And it was pretty strong. So if you like laundry-based scents and you like citrus, I think you should go for that one. Sweet Plum Pastry in the original packaging. Black Plum, Toasted Coconut, and Marshmallow Cloud. Yes, there's a sweet, a sweet, a slight bitterness to this scent that works really nice with the notes to me. Some people don't really like this scent because of that, I think. So if you if you have this and you don't like it, you can always vanilla it up a little bit with something like a sugar cookie or vanilla bean buttercream. We have vanilla bourbon. This was in the Father's Day collection. It says warm vanilla, bourbon, and nutmeg. Smells really nice on cold. When I warmed it, it changed a little bit. It became a little bit smoky and I wasn't expecting that. And it was lighter than I was expecting. So it didn't, you know, blow me out of the water. So I was a tiny bit disappointed. And I think what it is, I just got my expectations up too high. Sometimes you do that. But yeah, it was a nice scent. It just wasn't a standout. So that is vanilla bourbon. Oh, this one is a standout. Total standout. Older packaging, original of Vanilla Oud. And look at that. This is beautiful. Leather Oud wood with a sweet vanilla. That doesn't sound good, but trust me, this is an excellent scent. And if you have the chance to try it, if you see it somewhere at a vendor event, or you know you have a consultant that has one kicking around, definitely see if you can and get it and warm it. It's really, really nice. All right, we have the Mandalorian Air of Adventure. This one is no longer available. It's silver mint. Oh, is it? I think it's no longer available. Yeah. Silver mint, it went into the wall. Bergamot, geranium, eucalyptus, and orange zest. This reminds me of like, like a spinoff of Huckleberry Sage, like a gentle minty spinoff of Huckleberry Sage. It's very gentle. It's hard to smell, but it's really unique and different. So I would stick to bedrooms or bathrooms for this one. If you like that kind of scent and you see it come back, definitely give it a try because it is different and it's nice to try different kind of scents. Speaking of different, we have this one. It is from Life's a Garden, Apple Parsley. This is Parsley, Tart, Apple, and Juicy Pear. This was really nice. It wasn't like club worthy, but I think if it came back again or I saw it in the clearance, I would definitely pick it up because it worked in my open layout and I really enjoyed it. I actually use five cubes in my open layout and then I had three cubes left so I took those three and put it in three warmers and then kind of added a little bit of fresh cut grass to you know zhuzh it up a little bit and that was nice. All right this one is coming back in January of 2022. It is Pink Haze. This is a good one. That's a good one. Definitely pick it up. Berries, nectarines, vanilla cloud. Vanilla cloud? Oh, vanilla laced whipped cream, marshmallow fondant. I can't even read my own writing. Oh, this is like picturing, you know, when you look at books of wedding cakes or, or professionally made cakes and they have the fondant and have like the ribbon and they're like five tiers tall. If you could smell that, this is what that would smell like. <laughs> yay, yay. Love it. It's such a nice scent. It really takes you by surprise. It, does, it really blooms in the warmer too. It's not overly strong, but it fills 
the area. I wouldn't put it in an open layout, but definitely in a small to medium area, it'll work just fine. From Life's a Garden, we have Pineapple Mint. This is Pineapple Orange and Spearmint. I don't really like this one. Oh, something reminds me a little bit of, like there's a little bit of cat urine smell to me on cold. Luckily, that doesn't really seem the, the way it is on warm, so thank goodness. I think it must be the, the spearmint is a little bit too, you know, natural. <laughs> but anyway, yes, that is gone. I will not repurchase that. And this one I kind of liked on cold, but I really did not like it at the early stages of the warming, and it is Life's a Garden Strawberry Basil. So it's funny, I liked it on cold. It smells good here in the clamshell. When I put in my warmer, it smelled like like sauerkraut or something. Something weird was going on with the strawberry basil. I don't know what. And I'm like, I don't know if I can handle this. I don't know if I have to remove this. I've never removed wax. Probably, maybe I've let it go like 10 to 12 hours and then it, then removed it if I really didn't like it. But I like to give things a chance because they might come around. The good news is this did come around. It did improve after a few hours, but man, I, I did not like that <laughs> weird part at the beginning. So I finished this up in Ryan's room and I finished it up in the bonus room and nobody complained, so that's good. Might just be something my nose picks up. Obviously, they probably don't intend for it to smell like sauerkraut. All right, the next one is Beach Daisy. I have a little bit of a daisy thing going on here this month. Uh, Beach Daisy has honeydew melon, wild daisies, and green apple. And this is a really beautiful, like, feel-good kind of scent. It's a fruity floral. It's very sweet. Mm, I like this. It would be nice in body care, like a nice lotion and beach daisies. That would be nice. I have a few bars of that, so I'm happy. I think that's my last of the original packaging. From Life's a Garden, I have chamomile daisy. This one has lemon zest, tea, chamomile, flowers, and daisy. I put this in my bathroom, or my kid's bathroom, excuse me, and it seemed to be long lasting there, but at a, I would say a medium to light intensity. So I was okay with it. It was okay, but I would not repurchase. I did not, I did not have any issues with it. I just wouldn't need to repurchase it. From the kids uh, collection in the past, this one always puts a smile on my face, Apple Crush. It's like a green apple. It says green apple, sweet apple blossom. Yes. The problem with this is it just is not very long lasting. Like you put it in and it's like, <laughs> like it's there for three quarters of a day maybe. And then I feel like it's gone. So that's my experience with Apple Crush. Would I repurchase? Yes. Even though it is not long lasting, I like it. Because sometimes you want a scent that's only going to be short lived. Especially for me where I'm doing Tester Tuesdays every Wednesday. If, I, if I'm off, that's when I start my Tester Tuesday warmings. If I'm working, it has to be a little later, but sometimes as you guys are voting, I need something that's short-lived. All right, I have four Bring Back My Bars. I have one of my favorites. This is my second favorite Scentsy scent of all time, Marshmallow Mint. And yes, it really does tint the clamshell. Even with the poor lighting here this morning, you can definitely tell that. So this is Buttermint, Marshmallow, and Amber. This is a really phenomenal scent. If you deleted this from your Scentsy Club, I'm really sad for you. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back. If you vote enough, it will come back. All right, a very light performer, beautiful scent, light performer. I didn't get much out of this. Jet Set Go. Brazilian Orange, Jungle Papaya, and Island um, Vanilla. Mm, you know what this kind of reminds me of? It's probably the color. <laughs> but let me just go in my tickle trunk here. <laughs> Kind of reminds me a little, oh, look at this one. Look at that weird little thing up here. Pine, um, palm trees and ocean breeze. It's different. This is more, there's more like some sort of fruit. Yeah, the papaya maybe. Anyway, because I have palm trees and ocean breeze, I don't need any more Jet Set Go. Plus I couldn't really smell it very well. Unfortunately, even setting it aside, a lot of people are asking me about curing, you know, will curing help? I will say that some of the scents when you get them from Bring Back My Bars or a collection, and I'll probably discuss this on my Chop and Chat coming up. I, I will probably film that coming up in a few days or the following week because I'm quite busy with work. But basically my 
take on curing is some sense when you get them, they are recently poured. I have noticed if I got to bring back my bar collection, what I usually do is I try to make sure I've finished all my open bring back my bars before the next one is released. So that would be six months away. So I remember with a scent like blackberry meringue, I warmed it. It was kind of, I don't know, it was like a light medium. And then maybe six months later, I warmed it. And I, I could definitely tell a difference with that one. And I'm, I know there's, there's probably a couple others, but for me, it's infrequent that I noticed the difference, but I definitely have noticed it on a few scents. So I wouldn't get your hopes up that all of these scents are gonna be like miraculous performers. If they're light, they might just be light. <laughs> so it's not like it's gonna go from a two out of 10 to an eight out of 10. No, it might go from like a two out of 10 to a five out of 10 in strength. Who knows? Or it might just stay at two out of 10. So, you know, don't keep stockpiling them and waiting for them to get stronger. Definitely try them out as you go. Here's another daisy, fresh cut daisies. This is a phenomenal scent. This is the older packaging, I think from 2018 when it came back. Oh, this is one of those scents that you hear it and you're like, no, I'm not even interested in trying it. And then you get it and you're like, oh, that's not too bad. And then you warm it and you're like, yes, <laughs> sign me up. Even if you're not huge into florals, this has won quite a few people over. And it's strong. It's like a two day performer for me in my open layout. A lot of scents don't last more than one day there for me because they tend to dissipate and dilute in the air so much that they just don't scent the vicinity very well. Like if you're close to it, yes, but they don't scent that big area very well for a second day. So I usually remove it. Sometimes I remove it and put it in a hotter, warmer, in a smaller room, and I'll still get a little bit of scent out of it that way. But I have a lot of wax, so sometimes I just discard it. My last bring back my bar, and I have one tester to discuss, but this is Rio Beach. And I did have a couple mini testers as, the, as well. This is coconut milk, tropical fruits, and tonka bean. I want to say about this, this is one of the longer lasting, like tropical, beautiful, creamy scents that I've tried. It's really, really long lasting and it's wonderful. It's beautiful. It's almost so long lasting that you're like, okay, I want to change it. <laughs> but it's so pretty. So that's why I did not put it in my Scentsy Club. I think I have three more bars and I'll probably warm one a year, so I'm probably good for a little bit. And last but not least, one of my favorite Scentsy scents, probably in my top five. And I actually mixed this with cashmere and corduroy and it was really nice. So I had one cube left of cashmere and corduroy and I mixed it with this. And this is Simply Vanilla. And this is coming back in January. So if you've not tried this, it's a really pretty vanilla. Mmm. It's so pretty. It's hard to explain. There's a creaminess to it, a special creamy, luxurious feeling to this. It's not really a bakery vanilla. It's pretty. I wish they would bring this out in body. It would be really nice, simply vanilla. So if you want to try that, stick around for January. So last but not least, before we break off, I'm going to ask you the question of the month. And the question of the month this month is a doozy because I was thinking a lot about it because at the beginning of the month, I actually received five warmers as part of an incentive. So I'm like, wow, five warmers, <laughs> five more warmers. What am I going to do with these? I have a lot of warmers. And when I first started my Scentsy journey, I didn't feel the need to purchase more than what I just had in my house. Now I have a whole bunch. So my question for you is a two-parter. The first thing is, if you're brave enough to tell me or share with us, how many warmers do you have? And the second part of the question is, how many warmers do you actually use kind of in your house at one time? So how many warmers do you have? And how many warmers do you, are you actually using? So that means, do you have storage? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I'm sorry it was a long video. It wasn't too bad. I tried to go through it a little bit quick. Sorry about the noise. Sorry about the light. If you're new, consider subscribing, especially if you're a Sensi addict, because I am and I like to share my experience with you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.